about things he does that you think are a big deal and mean a lot, but are actually bare minimum behavior and mean nothing. The last one may shock you. I feel like a lot of women still don't really understand what bare minimum behavior means. And obviously this can vary depending on your standards, depending on how you value yourself and- Okay, so real talk. A woman's bare minimum standard, if you will, is typically gonna change uh, depending on a few things. One, it's gonna be her age. And number two, it's gonna be her social economic uh, bracket. So for example, a woman that is in the range of like 18 to 28, those are her prime years when she has her the hottest she'll ever be, right? She has all the guys chasing her. She's got the, pick, the cream of the crop, the pick of the litter. And so she might be one of those girls that's like, well, if a guy's not spending $100 on a dinner, then I'm not going to date him. I have the benefit of being 42 and seeing girls that did that back in the day at the age they're at now in their late 30s, early 40s that are struggling to where their standard now is, I just want a guy that won't lie to me. I just want a guy that's going to just take me out occasionally. It doesn't have to be all that expensive. I just want to, you know, be able to go on a real date with a guy. The problem women have is the standards that they're willing to have in their late 30s are the same standards they should be having for guys in their 20s. But a lot of them miss out because they're like, I'm going to be fine forever. At least they think that at the moment. And so they lose out. And that sucks. And then the other one is socioeconomic. Realistically, guys, a woman that comes from like a background where her money, her, her family had a lot of money and she was affluent or whatever. She might be the person that's like, my 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 bare minimum standard is a $200 dinner. Now, does that mean you, the guy, need to match that? It does not. Because another thing I found is this, is that, and this is true for most dating advice in general, is that at the end of the day, what really matters is how attractive the woman finds you. All her standards surprisingly will go out the window when she has a high interest. So you could have a woman in a higher economic class and she sees a bum guy on the street that's got a lot of muscles and looks good with a shirt off and has the, and she will go for that guy because whatever her little, her, her ovaries did a flip in her stomach and now all of a sudden it's like, oh my God, that's the guy. And that can happen. But just understand that for guys that she's not attracted to or, or guys that she is hypothetically thinking about that, that aren't actually real to her, she's going to bring forth these standards of, I need this kind of dinner and these kind of trips annually and this kind of thing to happen to make sure that I fall for the guy. And most of that, guys, is bull crap. Because the reality is, a woman that is trying to set standards for you of things that you need to do, while she's waiting to find that guy, there is a guy in her life that is banging her on the regular, that is meeting less than the bare minimum standards. And she's like, but he's attractive, he's cute, he does me right in bed, and so I don't care, you know? So always be mindful of that also. These girls in here come like, a guy needs that X, Y, and Z. I can assure you, even this girl here, if she found a dude out there that didn't meet her bare minimum, but what was attractive in the way that her ovaries needed him to be attractive, trust and believe this video would be taken down because she'd mean, she'd mean absolutely none of it. But anyway, I digress. And just the things you prioritize in a relationship. So if you disagree with any of these, let me know in the comments. I'm totally open to conversation, but let's get into it. Let's start off with a simple one. Opening the car door for you is bare minimum behavior and does not really mean anything. It just means that he's literally opening the car door for you to try. So again, they're, they're defining bare minimum as things that most guys should be expected to do. Spoiler, most guys aren't opening women's car doors. So she's trying to put forth, and if a guy is doing that, then spoiler women, that's not actually like, that's just the bare minimum that you should be expecting anyway. So don't give a guy extra points for doing that. And so when do we get to a point of society where it's like, so you doing stuff back in the day that women would have loved to do, now it's seen as the bare minimum, therefore it's, it's acceptable to do, but you're still not doing enough. Like, the number of women I've talked to, again, in their late 30s, early 40s, who would kill for a guy to open their car door, who would kill for a guy to just talk to them nicely. Like, you would be thinking that these are hard things to come by, but the fact that they're not even being appreciated is what's making guys not even want to do that stuff. Anyway. Try to seem chivalrous and nice, but that does not mean that he is, like, the most amazing guy you've ever dated. And if you're dating a guy that isn't opening doors for you, what the heck is wrong with you? Let me know. So to clarify, if a guy is not opening doors for you, then he's a trash guy. But also, if a guy is opening doors for you, that's just the bare minimum and that's still not enough. Is it any wonder today why it is that women are losing in the dating game? 
Because at what point are you going to be happy with the stuff that we're doing and actually get to that in a later video. But anyway. If you guys want me to go into a video about how to get him to start doing little things like that, like opening the car door for you and yeah. like little things, because I've had some I've had some practice with this one. And now this is key, guys, because this is I'm glad she said that part, because what did she just say? She said, hey, women, if you want me to teach you how to get a guy to do something that you want him to do, i.e. opening doors, I got the key to that. Right. So this is the woman that is telling women, hey, I can give you some sneaky tactics to make a guy do what you want to do. And yet women will come over to the guy side of things and guys are simply saying, hey, if you do these things and be patient, do whatever, then she'll feel these certain things for you. And now that's manipulation. I just wanted to point out the hypocrisy of that because the woman right here is telling women, I can teach you how to do these things, but then they get mad at guys for trying to teach guys to do the things that I'm trying to teach you guys to do. Anyway. The second thing that means absolutely nothing and you're making a big deal about is introducing you to his friends. That means nothing. You have no idea if he introduces every single girl he talks to to his friends. You have no idea if his friends are like in on it or know about multiple women that he's dating. That does not mean anything. So now this is an example of this woman does not know just how big of a deal it is or should be to you rather that you are introducing her to your friends. Now, I tell you guys on this channel, I make it a point to if I'm dating a woman, she does not meet my friends or my family until we're either two months in slash close to being in a relationship or we're actually starting about talking about titles and being boyfriend and girlfriend. Like I just generally believe that bringing other parties into your dating situation when you're still getting to know each other can result in either party being swayed or, or, or swayed in the wrong direction in terms of their thought about that person. Like the number of, for example, women are haters. Like women don't are, are not aware that they have women in their friends groups that are also haters. And so her trying to bring you around her friends, then you, you have this friend over here that's going to tell her, oh, I saw him do such and such and such and such, and you shouldn't date him anymore. So then she dumps you only to find out later that that friend actually wanted you and or was jealous that you having a, her having a boyfriend meant that it was going to take time away from them hanging out. And so these are the things that happen when you bring, when your girl tries to bring you around other people, or you try to bring, you know, the girl around your boys thinking, oh, I just bring around the boys and fellas, this and that, not thinking it's going to be a thing, but like your boys could be hating on you. Your boys could be trying to get your girl. Your boys could be like trying to tell stuff. I, I've heard scenarios of like dudes bringing a new girl around their friends. And then the friends just saying all the embarrassing stuff about this guy to where the girl actually lost interest. So but she's saying, but that's not a big step. Guys, taking a woman around your friends and family is should be a huge step to you that you should be waiting for un until she starts talking about wanting to be in a relationship. That is actually a big deal. Prefer to be like, that's just the bare minimum. That really shows, honestly, how bad of a job we, have, we as guys have done at making that step be a lot bigger. Because she should not, I'll get, I'm saying this again for you guys, do not. Be bringing her around your friends, your family. I don't care if it's, hey, this week's 4th of July. You've been dating a girl for a month. Hey, come meet my friends and family. Don't do it. That is a serious, that is a step that is to a woman very serious. You're bringing her around family, which means to her, you're thinking about her as potentially being family. But is she there yet in her process of thinking about you that way? Probably not. And you're going to lose out. So don't do what she's talking about. Like, don't take for granted that, like, her meeting your friends is actually a big freaking deal. Stop acting like it's a big deal if he introduces you to all of his friends because that really doesn't mean anything. It means it means a lot, guys. Don't fall for that. And number three is he texts you constantly, frequently. That means absolutely nothing, and he may just be using you as a source of entertainment and validation. Let me know if you guys want me. To so, so this is where I talk about projection. The reason she said that last part, well, he's probably just like texting you just to get validation. That's because that's what they do. You're texting her to try to get dates and it, 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 you shouldn't be doing this, but a lot of you guys are trying to text women to build rapport so she can get to know you, whatever like that. But women are the ones that will typically more often than not be texting a bunch of bunch of different dudes just because it, it validates how pretty she feels and how much she thinks about herself. Right. So, again, guys, you guys texting and trying to call. She, she's saying, well, texting a lot. And listen, that, that's not a that's not that's just the bare minimum. Listen, that guys, if it was the bare minimum then she, she would be happy that you're over texting. But instead, they typically get bothered by it to where they stop texting you back and they go ghost on you, all right? So, but that's why also you shouldn't be texting all that much in the first place. So again, this woman just giving out a whole bunch of stuff that is absolutely wrong. 
it is what it is. You's a bad boy, but you can't stop, won't stop. Let's you are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high class man. You are high class man. You are high earning.